There are times when you have a recording of an instrument that is played, played free form, and it sounds exactly the way you want it. But you want to enhance it even more by adding other instruments to it. And so you take a look at it and you notice one little problem. That particular instrument was played at somewhat of a rubato tempo. The tempo varied pretty dramatically. And now you want to add other instruments and you need them to stay in sync. Now how do you handle that? Well, one approach is to use a tapping technique. And I can show that here. In this particular example, I have a piano, and it's varying extremely widely, rather dramatically, and I want to add a saxophone to it and keep everything in sync. Let's take a listen to the piano itself. Let's get slower and slower. Really slow. And it starts to speed up. Okay, that is extremely dramatic. Now, to handle that, we need to tap this out. And what better instrument to tap out a beat than the cowbell? I have a cowbell sound here. Let me just test it out. Yep, that's my cowbell, all right. And what I can do, I will keep an eye on the key editor for the piano. And as it's going, I'll try to tap as close as I can to what I'm seeing happening. And so we'll set this to record. And one point you may notice is that the piano, let me show you, it was set for linear mode, not musical mode. That way, anything I'm doing to the tempo track is not going to be changing the actual speed of this. Now let's go back. We'll do the cowbell. Ready to record. Here goes. That was fun. Now, now that we've done that, I'll double click on here and we can easily edit this, change it around if I missed up a little bit as I was trying to keep in tune with the piano. Now that I have that, it's time to make the tempo track. I have the cowbell selected. I go up to MIDI in the menu and choose functions. And at the very bottom is merge tempo from tapping. And you get this dialog and ask you, what does a single tap sound like? What speed is it? Well, I'm saying a single tap is a quarter note. And we're going to start at the very beginning of the bar. So, okay. To verify that we've made that change, I will go down here. I'll hold down the control key and click. And here we have the tempo track. And you can see it varies pretty dramatically. It goes slower then it starts speeding up at the end. Now I've done that. I can easily add any other kind of instruments, and there's a few tricks there too. But first, let's make sure this is working right. I will mute out the cowbell. Actually, I could have deleted the whole thing. We just don't need it anymore. I'll just hide it away for the moment. And I will go back to the beginning. I'll turn the metronome on by typing C. And let's take a listen and hear what the metronome is going to do. It didn't sound right at all. And do you know why? It's because I still have everything set for a fixed tempo track. I want to use our new tempo that we've created. So I need to choose T or click on this icon. And now we should hear the difference. So you can tell that it's now in sync. Now I can add my saxophone and have it try to keep to that beat or, and here's the cool thing about it, I could actually play it at a normal fixed tempo and then later on it will adjust to the piano. Let me show you that. I'm going to mute out the piano. We don't need that at the moment. Uh, we don't want it to interfere and we don't have the 
cowbell on. As you know, I had that muted out anyway. And I am now going to play just the tenor sax. And I will play that at a fixed tempo. Let's go down here, click 120, 120 is fine. And let's record that. It's now going to be at a nice even tempo. which was much easier to play because it was at even tempo. Now that I've done that, I will unmute the piano and we'll play the two together. And I will set the tempo back to using the tempo track. And let's hear the two together. Let me turn the metronome off at the moment. You don't need that. Let's see if they sound like they're somewhat in sync. It was a nice easy way to combine the different sounds from the different instruments and have them play in sync. And as you could tell it wasn't perfect, but that could be tweaked fairly easily. And if you could imagine there's a lot of uses for this. You start out with an instrument that has varying speed and you could now easily create your tempo track to match that.